Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're doing a beer that Wayne sent me from Pennsylvania. Thank you, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. This is Sly Fox Black Lager. Oh, here we go again. Independently brewed in Pennsylvania. So, what do you mean here we go again? Well, it's the black beers being named other well, things. A black lager. Okay. So lager doesn't mean a color. At least it's not saying it's pale, but black. This company's from 1995. 5.5% alcohol and it's best by June. So if I didn't know diddly about beers, which I know less than than, than what's more commonly known, I would pick this up and think you know, I'm buying a black beer because it says black on it. You are. You're buying a well, dark brown beer. Okay. So it's a nut brown. It's a black lager. Okay. Well, probably right. known in the old days as nut brown. Yeah, and you can see it's not, like it's not brown to me. Not black, brown. No. I guess I could call it a brown lager. It's a Coca-Cola color. Pretty much. Oh, that's 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 good. Nice beige head. I mean, I don't need to overspill. Beige head, dark brown appearance. And we don't get this Sly Fox from Pennsylvania and Louisiana. Nope. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> smells kind of Newcastle-y, even though that's an ale. It smells like a nut brown. I mean like a Where nutty it's toasted, mist. yeah, with Toast. the grains and toasted to give it the color. I do have a fresh palate, by the way. Excellent. I don't actually, but I don't have a worn out palate today yet. Well, yeah. mine has been on hiatus for a little while. Right. So. We haven't done do a review in a good number of weeks. No. Cheers, folks. Cheers. This company is located in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Pottstown. There's a, there's a sharp bitterness to it. Yes, I noticed it, that. It, it, it starts off sweet as just about all of these beers too. You know, like a, a dry sharp bitterness. Yeah, it's 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 a reflect it's a reflection on how how the beer goes across your palate too, which i.e. your taste buds on your tongue. Uh, you got bitter sour sweet. And so the first one you're gonna get is sweet, which is on the tip. Body is on a little on the heavy side, like high medium fine. It's got a little heft to it. There's a good balance to it. It's just that there's this uh, syrup. No, it's almost like a like a dish rag taste going on with it. Ah, that's not a good descriptor. Dish rag. I wish I could think of something else. It's it's. Uh, you know, how sometimes you want to drink a dish rag. Um, well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll draw that back in and stay away from that statement. Um, it's, the, the bitterness is, it's not pleasant. It's kind of, but it dissipates, so it's, it's not horrible. Um, how many sugar cubes do you give it out of five? One and a half. I don't think it's that sweet. No, it's kind of a dry, dry beer. Yeah, yeah, one and a half. How about bitterness units at a five? Out, how many? Bitter, out of, it's it's up there. It's not an IPA bitter. It's just a three and a half out of five hop cones. Yeah, I I'd go a little higher, closer to the four range, but not quite four. Three point seven five. About that. So it's a dry lager. If it was an ale, it would be a dry stout, right? Yeah, it's it's. Dancing on your tongue like a pilsner. It's just not wowing me. It's, I would say it's it's okay. The distribution of this beer is very limited. You know what I mean. If he had not sent it from Pennsylvania, I probably wouldn't have seen it in Maryland or Delaware, a neighboring states. You know. Yeah. Is this one of those smaller companies? Oh yeah. Very small. It's got the pasty label on it. Yeah. It's probably all. 
Brewed and can by Sly Fox Brewing in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. I don't know anything about this brewery. Um, oh, they've never been seen in Louisiana. It's got a date of 1995 on it, so I would assume that's when they were established. Formed. So they've made it from 1995 till now, 27 years, pretty good. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying something that's a little more even from this company to see if they're... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you get on the website, they got all kind of beers lined up, but you know, like, we don't right. get them. It's, it's like if people in Pennsylvania it, looking they, at the Abito website. Yeah, like they, we can't. They, just, they just don't have the uh, distribution. Yeah. It's, a, it's the same old song and dance I hear all the time when I go to the store. Yeah, right. So supply chain's knocked down, distribution's off. And I'm like... Well, way before all of that started, it was right. the same story. You couldn't get people... You might get one beer from up north at a certain company or two, but then they would have like 25 listed on their website. You just couldn't get them. That's the same thing with Abita. People in... Uh, like say uh, Connecticut, tell me, well, I can get a beta amber, and and purple haze, but they can't get any of the others. Well, I would think in areas where the breweries aren't as popular, they're probably just gonna go through with the the name brands. Well, yeah, you can't send everything. You know, it's like Anheuser Busch. If you go like to Europe somewhere, you're probably only gonna find Michelob Ultra, Bud Light, and Budweiser. Whoa. Because that's all, it's, that's the number one seller. So you're going to put the number one sellers out there because you don't want to have to keep on when they have new, and, and they also a have product or discounting it because it's not selling. And they also have regional brands that we can't even get. Like they make uh, Michelob uh, Golden Draft. They make Budweiser Supreme. If yeah, you go Michelob to India. Michelob Gold yesterday. Not, not make Michelob. Ultra Gold. Yeah, but not Golden Draft Gold. Golden Draft it's Lager. Golden on it. Golden Draft Lager. It's, it's an Ultra. Yeah, not Ultra. And it's like uh, a three point two percent. And if you go to like India, that. you know India, the country, in Asia, there's a beer called Budweiser Magnum, eight yeah. percent. We don't get that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we, they just call it hard hurricane high gravity. All <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, well, that's coming on, so we better the compressor coming on. Nice compressors. Uh, no, both wrong. All right, so uh, how would you score this thing? Uh, I'd give it a B. It's, it's okay. Uh, it's 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 put together pretty good. So that's what's giving it, pushing it toward the B. The bitterness is kind of I don't know. I guess it should be there. So I guess I'll have to bump it to a B plus. Okay. So I'm gonna say 93 and A. I think that's what I gave it on the solo if you don't recall. You're saying like about a 88 B plus? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so we're still Pretty saying bad. it's good. So if you get a chance, try the Sly Fox um, Black Lager. And we're going to end this review by saying y'all go to Pottstown, Pennsylvania and tour the Sly Fox Brewery. And thanks again, Wayne. See, see these shoes, these shorts I have?